Hello Church! Hello everyone who's watching us right now here at the official page of Lagro United Methodist Church Philippines. Welcome to our segment, Hymns from the Heart. Hello everyone! Yes, here we are going to feature church hymns and sacred songs with the heartwarming stories behind them and the inspiring stories of the men and women who wrote them. So that... They may not remain as mere hymns we have learned to sing in church, but as hymns from the heart. This is Tito Arnel. And this is Levi. Join us in this segment, Hymns from the Heart. Our featured hymn for today is He Leadeth Me, O Blessed Thought, by American hymn writer Joseph Henry Gilmore. Ginawa niya ang imno na ito noong panahon ng matinding pagsubok sa history ng Amerika noong 1862, sa panahon ng Civil War, panahon ng digmaan at kawala ng seguridad. Noong panahon yun, nagpipritch si Gilmore sa First Baptist Church sa Philadelphia pagkatapos ng kanyang ordination. Nakaaantig ng damdaming malaman na sa panahon ng ganong pagsubok sa buhay, Imagine, nasa gera ang bansa, nasa ganong kalagayan na buo ang isang imno ng pananampalataya at pagtitiwala sa Diyos mula sa puso ng isang tao. Amen! At ang taong yan ay si Joseph Henry Gilmore. He was born in Boston on April 29, 1834. He graduated in arts at Brown University and finished theology at Newton Theological Institution where he also became a professor of Hebrew in 1861. He was appointed professor in Rochester University in New York in 1868. For some time, naging Baptist minister din siya sa Fisherville, New Hampshire, at Rochester. Nasulat niya ang ino na ito pagkatapos ng isang lecture na ginawa niya sa First Baptist Church in Philadelphia at may date siya na 1859. Interestingly, may ginawa ang asawa niya nang hindi niya alam dito sa isinulat niya. Kasi napublish ito sa Watchman and Reflector noong December 4, 1862, isang Boston newspaper na ginamitan pa ng kakaibang pen name, Gone to Cook. Tapos, Isinama ng famous gospel song composer na si William Bradbury ang mga letra ng imnong ito sa kanyang collection na The Golden Censor noong 1864 at nilapatan niya ng himig. Sa kanya nakakredit ang third line ng sikat na refrain ng imnong ito. He leadeth me, he leadeth me, by his own hand he leadeth me, his faithful follower I would be, for by his hand he leadeth me. Heartwarming talaga ang kwento ng imnong ito. Noon kasi, nagtrabaho din si Gilmore bilang private secretary ng tatay niya at kasama sa trabaho niya ang mag-edit ng The Concord, New Hampshire Daily Monitor. At doon niya nilagay ang ilang detalye ng istorya ng imnong ito. Ang patotoo niya, It was the darkest hour of the Civil War. I did not refer to that fact, that is, I don't think I did, but it may subconsciously have led me to realize that God's leadership is the one significant fact in human experience that it makes no difference how we are led or whether we are led so long as we are sure God is leading us. Napaka-relevant na mensahe ng imunong ito para sa atin ngayon. Wala tayong civil war in a sense na nagbabarila ng mga tao, pero parang nasa war din tayo. War against COVID-19, na nakakaapekto ng sobrang tindi, di lang sa health ng napakaraming tao, kundi sa buhay at kabuhayan ng mga mamamayan. Sa kabila ng mga pangyayaring ito, nire-remind tayo ng hymn na ito tulad ng sinabi sa Psalm chapter 23, verse 4, Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. No amount of national crisis can take us away from God's mighty hand. Amen. And I hope na maging inspirasyon sa atin 
ang message ng hymn natin for today. So, with no further ado, let us put our voices together and sing our hymn for today, He Leadeth Me, O Blessed Thought. Thank you for joining us today. This has been Tito Arnel and Levy, and this is Hymns from the Heart, a production of the Communications and Web Ministry of Lagre United Methodist Church. <laughs>